Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkerverse. This week, I thought I'd bring you guys something a little different. My top 5 picks of open source apps that you guys can check out in 2022. And I wouldn't be surprised if you guys decide to replace your stock apps with a few of these awesome alternatives. So if you're looking for improved privacy and better control over your phones, I've got you guys covered. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next one. And of course, as always, don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head over to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. Now before we begin, as a quick note, all of these apps are available from the Play Store alternative FDroid. So if you haven't already, make sure to install it using my link in the video description below. So now that we have that out of the way, let's jump straight into it. With our first app of the list, Stealth, a super clean Reddit browser. Now you might be wondering why would you use this over the official Reddit client? Just as the name suggests, Stealth keeps you completely anonymous. That means no signing up or even login required. Bringing true privacy to Reddit. And with its modern design combined with the ease of use, you'll definitely fall in love with this one. And personally, I'll be using this on all of my phones. And speaking of clean UIs, the next one brings Spotify and YouTube music under one roof. Black Hole. And just like Stealth, with this one, you're not going to need to log in or even create an account. Just simply load it up, select your country, and then instantly start listening to music from either one of these awesome providers, all without being annoyed by those pesky ads between tracks. Additionally, this one also houses a ton of customization options, so make sure to take your time and fully check this one out. Saying that, there is a caveat with this app. In order for us to get Spotify working, we need to combine it with a VPN service, as the Spotify section is blocked in certain countries. Now have you ever wondered what information apps tracked about you? Better yet, have you ever wanted full control over what data was collected? That's exactly where Tracker Control comes in. An open source app which gives you back total control over your data. Just simply toggle it on here and then under each app you'll be able to control exactly which data sharing aspects you want to allow. And this can even work for games to help block ads from showing up as well. Just be careful not to completely block network access for your essential apps. Now having said that, the real hidden gem for this app is this traffic logging section which allows you not only to see exactly where your phone is sending data but also which apps are constantly doing so. Now if you combine this information with the next app on the list, Super Freeze, you'll be able to potentially decrease your battery usage as well as save you some RAM space. This one is an open source greenify alternative which works by shutting down all of those pesky apps that continuously run in the background. Now in order for this to run fully automated, you need to make sure that you allow all of the extra permissions that it asks for. Once done, just simply select which apps that you want to stop and then hit that freeze button, at which point it will fly through all of those apps hogging up your memory and force stop each and every one of them. This one is definitely perfect for those of you looking to squeeze each and every last drop out of your phone's performance as much as possible. And now for the final one in the list, a free to use watermark free screen recorder. Screen Cam. This one is for those of you looking for a lightweight screen capture app, allowing you to record at a max of 1080p at 60fps and even customize the bitrate, allowing you to balance between video quality and storage usage. It's clean, straight to the point and great even compared to some paid apps. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.